So, uh, let us recall what we did in the last lecture uh, quickly. So, for a, a finite two finite states i and j we have studying i cross j matrices with entries in the field k and this set we have denoted by m i j k we have noted this is this is actually by definition it is i power i cross j this is a k vector space and we found a basis of this the matrix units e i j where this is at i j place this is a matrix i cross j matrix with i j th entry one and all other entries are zero and this is i comma j running in i cross j and this is clearly a basis k basis of this vector space m i j k in particular dimension is dimension of this vector space is cardinality of i cross j which is cardinality i times cardinality j. Oh, very special case oh, special case uh, when i equal j equal to i then m i j m i k the square matrices i cross i matrices entries always in the field k this has a basis e i j no i j both are varying in i cross i this is a k basis and we have noted that this is actually k algebra this is a k algebra so we can also uh, multiply these basis elements e i j e r s this is very important if, if for calculation this formula this is e i s let me i need a space here e i s delta j r where delta j r is chronicle symbol and e i s is a another matrix so this is another matrix in it so this this is very helpful for the calculation because any matrix a square matrix for example a i j in m i k we can write it as a equal to summation entries a i j times matrix units i j running in i. So, these are the coefficients. So, they are uniquely determined because of this is a basis and so on. And so, when you multiply another matrix, you just have to perform these operations. So, it will be easier for a calculation. Okay. So, also now we have seen uh, this is a k algebra and the dimension of this k algebra is mod i square cardinality i square and we have also seen last time the invertible elements in this. So, m i k cross 
these are the invertible elements elements with respect to multiplication and this set we precisely denoted by G L I K. This is a group under multiplication of matrices and it is called general linear group. Actually, this name is better if you look at it as endomorphisms because that is a linear map. So, the, this word linear comes from there. Okay. So, uh, we have seen last time that if you want to check the matrix is invertible, a matrix A belongs to G L I K if and only if you only have to check one equation there exists a matrix B such that A times B is equal to identity matrix. Then it will automatically imply B times A is also identity matrix. This we saw last time because um, uh, for a finite dimensional vector space a map is linear map is injective if and only if subjective if and only if bijective. So, called the pigeonhole principle for linear algebra. Okay, now, we are going to continue this and we are want to analyze actually now you remember for a any f in the home k v w we have attached a matrix m v W f and this matrix of f with respect to the basis v and w of v and w respectively I want to now analyze how what happens if I change a basis what happens to this matrix. This, this matrix depends on a basis basis. So, I want to I want to analyze what happened to when we change a basis. So, I am going to do it first uh, for a square matrices. So, let us see first I want to write lemma. So, um, V is a vector space finite dimensional K vector space. finite dimensional over k and I have a given basis V prime V i prime i in i this is a k basis of V and another family indexed by the same indexing set that is V V i i in i is not a basis a family in V indexed by the same. So, they have the same number of elements. So, cardinality of i is the basis uh, cardinality of i is the dimension. Okay. Then what? What is the statement? Then I am looking at for every j in j, j in i, this j member in the family v j, this I can certainly write it as a linear combination that I am calling it b i j v i prime i in i with unique b i j in k i in i. This is because this v i prime is a basis. Then this v is a basis 
of V if and only if the matrix B which is B i j this matrix is invertible that means it is in G L i k that is B is invertible. So, again this is not so difficult let me indicate the proof. Look at the map from V to V. If I have to define a linear map from V to V, I only have to give it the values on the basis element. So, V j prime V j prime goes to V j j in j. This defines a linear map let us call it h, h is linear and we have seen earlier um, V is a basis the image is a k basis of V if and only if H is an automorphism. This we have seen earlier a linear map with an automorphism if and only if it maps basis to a basis. But this means the matrix matrix of V prime with respect to V prime to V of H this is a invertible matrix G L I V G L I K. But what is this matrix? This matrix is precisely the B I J matrix which is B that is because we have these equations the j th, j th element is written in terms of this. So, that is oh uh, maybe I have to little careful with the basis. So, this is this this is with respect to the basis V prime to V prime because this this goes to the j th column and that column we are writing again in terms of V i prime. So, this is a matrix. So, this is a matrix of F a matrix of H with respect to basis V prime and V prime of V. Okay, so, that was uh, the proof of the lemma. Now, let us continue with the same. So, now I in the above situation we have two bases V is a basis that is V i i in i and the matrix B the matrix B above B is B i j above which is which is um, which is in G L I K is called we are assuming now this is a basis is called the transition matrix. of the basis V to V prime. So, remember B i j are defined by this equation B i j are defined by the equation V j 
equal to summation p i j v i prime this is i in i so you see the basis so think of it is v here v here this is the basis v this is the basis v prime and then this v j goes to this v i j v i prime but this is v j so therefore this is really the identity matrix so therefore what we get is the matrix of with respect to the basis v and v prime of the identity matrix identity uh, linear map of v is this b i j matrix which is we have called it b and this is in invertible this matrix is called the transition matrix of the basis v to v prime v to v prime okay so and what is the other way then now the matrix of matrix of the basis v prime to v id id v that will be nothing but the inverse b inverse which is again in gli because we see when you compose this you get identity but it's v to v so it's it's clear it's it's the ident uh, the inverse of this matrix okay so next now we do it more so now again let us do it uh, so let me write it as a theorem now let me restate everything again so v is a basis vi v prime is a basis vi prime of v k basis and of course i we are assuming finite so this is n then it is n dimensional okay and we have a matrix b b is given this is invertible matrix given with the jth vector here vj is a combination b i j v i prime i in i this is given for every j in j every j in i this is the transition matrix maybe it is better to say from the basis v to the basis v prime see it goes v get transformed v is into v primes okay so if you now put uh, the column vectors um i have to be careful with the index small a this is ai and small a prime which is ai prime this is a column vector think of this is in k power i columns column vectors for the column vectors um let us look at the vector x 
see these are the coordinate these are the coordinate tuples. So, I want to write the vector corresponding to this that is summation a i v i and this is of course, i in i and the column vector um, if it is if it is also written in terms of this is now in terms of the basis v i v i prime this is summation a i prime v i prime. So, the same vector we have represented in terms of this basis v and in terms of the basis v i prime. Then, then what the statement is if I take the matrix B and multiply this column vector A, you get A prime. And therefore, and also how do I compute this A back from B and A prime? This A equal to you multiply this equation by B inverse on both sides. So, you will get B inverse B A prime this is just easy computation when you multiply you just have to compute this and then you will substitute ok. Let me write a proof one line proof. So, proof. So, proof ok. So, start with x on one side it is a i prime v i prime. On the other side, it is summation A i V i. But this is same as now I am going to substitute this V i. V i equal to remember I just want to remind you what I am going to substitute. I am going to substitute V j equal to this, this for each V i. So, that is summation i in i a i and v i is substituted. Now, I have to use the index j. So, j in i j in i and this v i is um, v i is b i j v i prime. I have interchanged the indices i and j. or uh, maybe we, we do not do that. So, let me erase this thing and we do it. So, we do the exactly what we have done. So, for that I have to change this index So, this is j in i a j v j and v j I am substituting that will be summation j in j, j in i a j as it is and then v j is our summation i in i b i j v i prime, but this is same the finite sum. So, I can interchange. So, this is I can do it summation i in i I interchange the sums and put this. So, inside it will be uh, summation uh, j in i b i j a j and whole thing multiplied by v i prime. So, therefore, this vector is a i this coefficient of v i prime is a i prime that is. So, that is precisely the the row i th row of the matrix b i th row of b multiply by the column this column a, a j. So, you will get this this sum that is precisely the ith entry. So, that means this matrix capital matrix B times the column vector A equal to A prime this is what we had to, to prove. And once you prove this B is invertible. So, you can multiply this equation by B inverse from this side and then you get what we want. Okay, so that was that was the the lemma. Now I want to write the full force theorem that is change of basis. Change of basis. 
change of basis. Okay, V finite dimensional. over k um, and given two bases one is v v j and another basis v prime which is v prime i i is in i. Now, see it the same indexing set, but I am using the different indices just to distinguish and w again finite dimensional k vector space w is one basis which is denoted by no oh, this also j w is denoted by w i i in i and another basis w prime which is w prime i so, this is ah uh, this is i in i. Now, this one is this one should be j, this one also should be j, this is j, this is j. So, then what do you what do you want to prove and f is a linear map given to us, f is a linear map v to w, k linear map. Then what we wanted to find out the relation between the following two matrices. One is obviously M V W F and the other is I have used this basis, these two bases. This is a matrix of F with respect to these two bases. Now matrix of F with respect to these two bases. And I wanted to write down the relation between the two. And just to remind you, this matrix is defined by the equations for j in j, f of v j equal to summation a i j w i i in i. This is these equations are the defining equations for this matrix which is matrix is a i j there. And here jth vector here, so j in j f of v j prime is summation a prime i j w prime i. These equations we will give this matrix, this is A prime i j matrix. Both are the matrices of the same, this is i cross i matrix, this is also i cross, uh, this is i cross j matrix, this is also i cross j matrix and the relation between them is the following. So, this is equal to, no not this, this is equal to this matrix. So, I have to write the, uh, in the next page I will write. Okay, the relation is uh, this new V prime W prime F, this matrix V W F, this is a matrix C times this times B inverse. This is the relation where B matrix B is the matrix of the identity M I D V from the basis V to V prime and C is the matrix of uh, transition matrix of the basis a W 
to w prime and the so in particular these such matrices are called similar i will define it formally uh, after this but again uh, when you write a matrix and you want to check this equalities it is very convenient to note what are the equations here like i wrote here these equations like that what are the equations for b and c for b its identity so this guy vj for each j in j vj we have written in terms of v prime because this is identity vj goes to vj so this is equal to uh, b now what do i call it b b i j no b k b k j v prime k k is varying in j so we have written the vectors in the jth vector as a combination of this and this will be the jth column of b jth column of b similarly c is are defined by the equations wi vector we have written this is not f this is id this is id w wi for each i in i wi is c r i r is in i times w r prime this is the equation which will tell you this matrix is c r i and these are the equations which will tell you this matrix is b k j and we want to check this so to check this uh, uh, both c and b are invertible matrices so b inverse makes sense so i can multiply this on this side and check so it is enough to check that so proof enough to check that this multiplied by b on the right so m v prime not v prime this is w prime v prime w prime f times b equal to c times m v w f we have to check this okay but what is this so enough to check this enough to verify this equality this equality but i am going to substitute what is v v is b is this so this is m v prime w prime f and b is i am just substituting this m v v prime i d v that is this i we have to check this equality right so i am going to start from this side this is i am just substituted b by definition and you remember this is the same basis so this is same as m this is identity of uh, composition this is f this is f compose idv and now this will be from v prime v prime get cancel and this will be from v to this get cancel and this will be v prime to w prime that is how we proved for the composition but this is m as it is v w prime this composition is f only what is the other side this is one side but what is the other side that is this side 
let us write down that side also that is c times m v w f but this is c the matrix of c is the identity matrix of or c is the matrix of the identity map with respect to w and w prime so that is w w prime i d w m v w f this is same as m obviously this will be i d v on the left composed w and then same funda you cancel this w and write from v to w prime which is m v w prime f but this is what the other side is also just now we noted see the other side is also this so this side is also this so we proved both sides are equal so this proves so qvd it's a little computational but one has to do that so more important is we have noted what happens to the matrices when you change a basis and that allows us to define in general this definition we have two matrices a and b no oh, a is in m i cross j b is also in not b i don't want to use the b uh, uh, the matrix a prime a prime that is also in the two matrices of the same order i cross j matrices we say that a and a prime are similar or we can be a little bit more precise we can we say that a prime is similar to a if there exist i will write their order little later b and c two matrices such that a prime equal to c a b inverse actually it is not good to use the word similar but equivalent let us say because similarity will be reserved for the square matrices so let me just say equivalent so that and now i can write down what are the orders so this product to be defined you need columns of a and the rows of b have the same indexing set so b should be from m is a square matrix and it should be invertible so b j k and similarly c should be in m i k actually invertible so it's even better so g l g a eh. g l j and g l g l i with this now immediately after that i will say this is also sometimes related by a equivalent to b e a equivalent to a prime equivalent to a immediately after the when we come back after the break we will check that this is an equivalence relation